Nothing all that unusual here. Just a run-of-the-mill kitchen cabinet. But kitchen cabinets have a large amount of wasted space that you might not have considered before. And that wasted space is a great place to stash your valuables. <laughs> so, do you have any guesses where there are valuables hidden in this cabinet? Do you see it yet? And now that the entire internet knows where I keep my priceless family heirlooms, here's my address for added convenience. Well, of course I'm not going to show you where I really keep my valuables. In fact, if you were to find this cabinet, this is what you would really find. But I will show you how I did this and why. First, I'll pull back this liner, and it's just stuck down with some spray adhesive to keep it from moving all over the place. Now if we look, the bottom of this cabinet is made out of a very, very thin plywood, and it was really weak. In fact, the canned goods that were sitting here were causing the entire bottom to bow down, so I had to address the problem. And the only way to really do it was to cut into this. The floor of this cabinet wasn't very nice looking to begin with, and because I knew that I had to cut into it, I might as well add a secret compartment while I'm there. So I used one of these oscillating tools to make the cuts. Once I had the whole cut, I made some plywood stock that runs all the way to the edges of the cabinet. And I held it up against the bottom, glued it, and clamped it. At the end of the video, I'll stick the camera down in the hole and let you have a look around. But for now, just imagine that these two boards in the front and in the back run all the way to the edge of the cabinet. And then there's a simple structure like that works like this. And I put it in this way. And as I pressed it in until it was flat, it lifted up and added support. And now the base is quite strong. And finally for the lid, I just used a piece of 3 8 plywood and removed some of the material on the table saw that I didn't need so that I could get it to sit flush. And here's a kind of extension of the same idea. In this bathroom vanity, I made some modifications to it, and I was able to put in a laundry chute. I just cut a hole in the floor, and the utility room is right underneath, and I just used this old garbage can to trim it off. Oh, and here's your bonus tip for watching all the way to the end. You can use a balloon to prevent rust rings. And by the way, please don't tell anyone, but this is where I really hide all of my video game tokens. <laughs>